the mission of Akazi Kanoze is about changing lives so that we lift as many young people as possible out of poverty. Akazi Kanoze serves youth between 14 and 35, around 70% of our Rwandan population. We're training youth starting from the beginning. But how do you get a job? How do you look for a job? Once you go on a job interview, how do you write your CV? And once you get a job, how do you keep a job? We're very happy that USID saw that there was a value in setting up a local independent NGO, and that's how Akazi Kanoze Access started back in 2015. My name is Seth. I am 23 years old. My parents were killed during the genocide. So uh, as the genocide survivor, I'm very happy that from Akazi Kanoze, I got a chance to know how I can develop myself. So my goals, I really want to be a doctor. Unemployment is still a big issue among youth. And we've trained 19,000 of youth so far. And 3,000 of them managed to set their own business. 65% of them managed to secure a job. Rwanda has a vision to be a service hub in the, in the region. And Kazi Kanoze has developed a relationship with Umuwano Hotel, and uh, it started with internship placements. But with time, uh, we engaged the hotel because we realized they were taking on more and more of our graduates. And now, uh, the HR manager, she sits on the private sector advisory committee. This is a committee that is made up of five business sectors, and what we do is just run ideas by them on activities that we're trying to implement and get their feedback from a private sector perspective. We have been able to forge a very strong partnership with the government, which is quite a significant partner in implementing training that we need to do. This is the first uh, international NGO that helped in creating the local NGO that can do the same thing and then phase out from, from the international partner. This was very wonderful. The project is impacting Rwanda in so many ways. Right now, the government, they're trying to implement it in secondary school and they want to integrate it in the national curriculum. The biggest joy for me is actually talking to youth that have gone through the project and seeing the impact that it has had on their lives.